45 years after his gruesome murder, the life of the late Archbishop of Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and Boga Zaire now dear a Congo, Janan Lum is celebrated. Lum was murdered by the then President Idi Amin Dada on 16th February 1977 for opposing his regime. A commemorative service has been held today at Kololo Independence Grounds. President Yoweri Museveni was represented by Vice President Jessica Lupo. In his message, the president described Lum as a courageous man who stood up against the wrongs committed by Amin. Archbishop Janan Luum and many others became victims of a broken and bankrupt state. The Archbishop displayed great courage in the face of danger. He had the option of running into exile, but he chose to stay with his flock. He may have paid a great personal sacrifice with his life, but his death strengthened the people's resolve and determination to get rid of their main regime. When there was uh, obvious danger before him, but he was ready to tell Idi Amin that what we are doing is wrong for the country, what we are doing is wrong for humanity, and I'm ready uh, to pay the ultimate price. We respect him, we honor him, and we want to carry his legacy by always telling the truth, and we rely on truth, and also we need to be sincere to ourselves. The Archbishop of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, used the occasion to call on government to investigate allegations of torture against opposition supporters by security forces. There are still some people who are torturing others. Uh, this is against what the president of Uganda wants. So why don't the government make the investigation? To, who are those torturing Ugandans, if it's true? So that our celebrations today of Janan Room, Janan Room becomes meaningful. Torture. Not everything on social media is true. But we see these things. That time is so. Is this in Uganda again? According to Kazimba, if any wrongs were committed, it is only courts of law to judge and prescribe punishments. Human rights, peace, and the rest should be different uh, given first priority. And if there are those who have gone wrong, they should be definitely brought to courts of law so that they are, they, the need for is done. I want Security forces have lately been on the spot for allegations of detention without trial and torture of opposition supporters. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV.